Let us see how to upload freight invoice. Click on invoices. Click on upload invoice. Click on freight invoice. Once you click on freight invoice, you will be able to see all the POs against which you can upload freight invoice. Also, you can see the search fields. So you can search for a particular PO number against which you want to upload the invoice. Also, you can search multiple PO numbers within the date range. Now let us see how to upload the freight invoice. If a vendor wants to upload a freight invoice against multiple PO numbers for which user has to click on download sample document. Once they click on download sample document, they have to open the document and they have to enter the PO numbers in this format against which they want to upload a freight invoice. Say these are the PO numbers against which vendor wants to upload the invoice. So they can use the PO numbers and paste it here one by one. Vendor has to save this file. Now again go back to the portal and you can see an option browse CSV. Click on browse CSV and attach that particular document that you have saved. Once you attach the document, you have to click on next. Once you click on next, you can see all the PO numbers that were present into the CSV document. Now vendor can upload the invoice against these PO numbers. For this, vendor has to select all the mandatory fields. Select the vendor code. Select invoice number. Select the invoice date. Select the gross invoice value. You have to enter the POC email. You can also enter external POC email IDs. Maximum four email IDs can be entered. So these are those email IDs who will receive an email for freight invoice uploads. This is the additional field. You can skip as well. Click on next. Once you click on next, upload document page will appear. Here a vendor has to upload the actual freight invoice. For that, vendor has to first select the checkbox that document is digitally signed. After that, they can upload the invoice. Before uploading, they have to make sure that document should be in PDF format and size should not exceed more than 10 MB. Also, one invoice can be uploaded at a time. So click on upload and select the file. Similarly, vendor can select can attach multiple supporting document as well if they want to. For supporting documents, size should not exceed 30 MB and they can upload in these available formats. Also, vendor can upload maximum four supporting documents. Click on upload and select the file as supporting document. As I've selected the same file which I've selected for the invoice. So it is giving a message as selected file is already uploaded. So we cannot select the same file which is already uploaded into the invoice section. Click on upload and select the additional documents. 
click on next to move further once the click on next preview page will appear in preview page vendor can make sure that all the information that they have entered is correct after that vendor has to agree the terms to proceed further once they agree the term they have to click on submit once they click on submit it will ask for confirmation whether you are sure to upload the invoice or not click on confirm to upload the freight invoice once you click on upload a message will appear as invoice upload initiated please refresh the page to see the upload status so you have to refresh the page to see the uploaded status here you can see that you have just now uploaded the freight invoice whose details are reflecting here you can also view the details by clicking on view invoice details you can see the details and click on back button to go back there is one more another option to upload a freight invoice which is by directly selecting the purchase orders so vendors can select the purchase order and click on next once they click on next they can follow the same procedure to upload the invoice 